Let's do a little ABX testing in FUBAR 2000. We bring up the program and use the file open dialog to open some test files. Here are two. If we use the control key, we can select two at once and then open. And there are both. Our, there are the two files. Now let's stop the playback. Right click the, the selected pair. Now if they're not selected, you select two of them the same way with a control key. And uh, then you go to the utils, ABX two tracks skip this uh, there's nothing to see here so we say okay and this is the abx comparator if we click play a we know we're playing clip a if we say we're playing clip b we know we're playing clip b now if there's a section that we want to hear We can set the start and every time every time we click it'll jump back to that point. We can also set the end. Oh, let's set start there and go there and set end. And now Okay, so you can select small portions of the music and just sample that. You can also keep play position when changing tracks. So let's reset and start from the beginning. And it will just jump between tracks. If there's a big difference between the devices under test or the clips, it should jump out when you do this. But if the differences are small, you probably need to go back to the same area and choose a small section of the file and uh, go back and forth. Now, to be a really valid test, it helps if you hide results. That way, you're not influenced by the result of your your test and if you don't hide results the only way you can have a valid test is if you specify and commit to the number of number of tests before you start say you're going to do 10 and you have to do all 10 otherwise you can just stop when you have the results that you like and that's cheating so we're going to hide results and we'll uh, no we won't hide results I'm sorry so we'll leave the results visible and we're only going to do one test because this is so stressful it takes so much concentration but we'll do one and see what happens so we play a and b and then x Gotta turn it up. They sound pretty similar to me. So is X more like A? Or more like B. Well, let's just say that X is A. If we think X is B, we choose this one. We can also listen to Y, which is not X. I'm going to say X is A. And then we get the result when we click Next Trial. I was wrong. Uh, X was not A. Let's try again. Let's try a different area. Yeah, that sounds good. No. Let's go back just a little bit further. Set start there.
the back and forth. Okay, let's say X is B. That would be this selection right here. And the next trial tells us we got that one right. Now, with one or two trials, especially when the clips are this close, you're just going to be guessing. You have to listen really carefully until you are sure, or until you are at least somewhat convinced that you have a choice, and then make your selection, and then do. I think you need at least 10. I, there's, I'm sure there's statistical math that will say how many you need. Uh, this program computes, uh, as we can see, the probability that you're guessing. And the, the accuracy of this computation goes up the more trials you take. So 10, 12, 15 in that range will give you some confidence that your results are, are correct. Either you really can tell the difference or you cannot. Remember, this is not about which one you like better. It's simply being able to tell the difference between two tracks. In this case, the two tracks that, oops, sorry. In this case, the two tracks that we're looking at are the same, uh, were recorded with the same microphone, but through two different preamps. One that cost about $125 and one that cost about $1,500. And most people would tell you that these two preamps are so different that nobody could t could mistake the difference between the two of them. Uh, perhaps that's the case, but I certainly don't hear the difference um, in this sample that we just listened to. So anyway, forget the politics of double blind testing. This is how you conduct a double blind test using FUBAR 2000.